Hey guys, Jim Rose from RPM Dynamics. In this video, we are going to show you how completely easy it is to set up a virtual sound check on this Midas HD96 and how to use it. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your patching page because you're going to need to assign where the I.O. is coming from to be able to do the sound check. In most cases, you'll have some kind of digital interface that's sending audio back from a computer. Right now, I have these two well, modified DN9630s into one box that I built, and that's where the audio is going to be coming from my computer. If this was going to be a one-to-one -one patch, it would be as simple as coming into this console. The audio page is always locked until you unlock it for safety, and we know that inputs 1 to 24 are coming from one of these AES50 streams. In this case, I could hold down on this button until they're, they're until all of their they're selected. If you hold down on the button, it'll do an auto select on the whole group, or you can gra grab singles, or you can singles like this, however you want to do it. But in this case, say we want to have one to 24, we're going to grab one to 24 here. This is on an input page, but if it's going to a tape return input, we're going to go to this page, which is the tape returns, which feed our virtual sound check. We've got inputs one to 24 from our digital interface. I'm going to click it in one to 24 patched. We go to inputs 25 to 48. We're going to hold down again. We're going to click on channel 25. 1 to 48 are patched in this list to be able to do a virtual sound check. That simple. It's done. Now that the patch is done, we can go back to home mode. And if we want to do a virtual sound check on this, this console, all we have to do is hit this virtual sound check button. Because this is a destructive thing for audio, on this console, as I mentioned in the other videos that I've done, this console, anything button push that will be destructive in terms of audio for your show, the buttons do not work when you push them. If I need to flip faders, it doesn't care. If I need to flip views, it doesn't care. But for a virtual sound check, it will not let me bump that button and make a change on this console because it could be catastrophic for your show. But to go into virtual sound check mode, it's really just as easy, just a little longer. All you have to do, if it's a destructive thing, is hold your finger on the button a little longer and watch the ring. So we're going to check this. We're going to click this virtual sound check button, and when we push it, we're going to see a little block go around it. It's going to highlight this console is in virtual sound check mode, ready to play off that computer. If you want to go back to your regular mode, hold your finger down on it again. We're back in a regular mode. It's that simple. That was the patching for virtual sound check. Once that patch is saved. This is activation.